Asian Queen of Songs, my goodness. It is such <laughs> an honor to have you here on this show. Sarah Uli, it's a pleasure to be here because, you know, a person like you who is a diplomat, but you've decided to give your life to music, <laughs> never leaving music, I right? Think, I think music took my life before I, I could choose. <laughs> before you could choose. Yeah. Thank you for inviting me, and it's wonderful that, you know, you suddenly want to do something about your music here in the Philippines where you will have a television program. That's fantastic. Thank Congratulations. You, Thank, Thank you so much. You. But we're not here to talk about me. We no. talk about you. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. You have yes. such a fantastic, interesting life. You have an amazing career as mm -hmm. a singer, as an actress, mm -hmm. as an hostess of a show, mm -hmm. as I don't know, the list goes on and on. I mean, it's pages of Meaning things that you've Meaning to say, I achieved. tried everything. <laughs> yes, but that's, I think that's what life is all about. And when you have, I mean, you are so full of life, so full of energy. And when you have that energy, I know you don't stop. You just you continue. You don't stop, That's yes. right. And I'm sure you are like that too. I can see it in your face, I can see it in your <laughs> smile, you know, you're never going to give up, you know. But when you're, when you're in show business nowadays, you know, it's just like if you're on television and then they say you're a singer, but can you act? You're an actress, can you sing? They make you do everything yeah. now. Huh? They want you to sing even if you're not a singer. They want you to dance even if you're not a dancer. So it's so different from what it was yes. before. Yes. Yes. But still, but everything is so modern. 100 albums, more. <laughs> yeah, I have One for quite every day. a few. <laughs> <laughs> quite a few, but at least, you know, we're back to the how do you call it? The vinyl, the vinyl. Vinyl, yeah. yeah. Yes, they're going back to that. Now, sometimes so people come sound. to me, oh, can you please sign it? Because when you sign it, it's more expensive when we sell it. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Oh, sure, you know, then I sign it. Yes, because before, before, you know, like one album a month, now no more. Yeah. Like possible. when I started singing in, because when I came from Cebu, I didn't speak Tagalog. I only spoke English, Visayan, and Spanish. So, when Vicor said, let's try to do something in Philip, we didn't want to listen to our own songs mm -hmm. during that time. Yeah. They thought that Dahil Sayo was our national anthem. <laughs> they never knew <laughs> we had one. And after that, that, that was the Philippine Love Songs Volume 1. Mm -hmm. And then from there, because he was saying, if it doesn't sell, then we go back to what we were yeah, doing. Sure. But then I guess it was just the right timing yeah. that people wanted to listen again to, you know, yeah. you know. And then when Mrs. Marcos was still the first lady, she made it that every radio station should play four Filipino uh, songs Rowling. or four songs composed by Filipino. We don't have that now. Yeah, I think that's a good thing to, to conserve the identity of the, yes. of the people. It has to be that uh, you protect what you have. Yeah. You can. There's always things coming from abroad that are nice, but I think you have a treasure that you have yes. to Yes, but to before it, it was all covers. Whatever yeah. was popular in the States or in Europe, yeah. they would translate it and record it here. Yeah, yeah. No, so, so it was like that, but then slowly, at least, the people now are writing more Filipino songs and we have such good talent, yeah. such good composers, such good singers, you know, so... And you work with many of them. Yes, yes, with, with many of them. But the, the thing here is that, let's say for example, it's so different, Tagalog song to a Visayan song to an Ilongo song. Mm -hmm. The melodies are all very different, so there is a lot of variety mm -hmm. in the Filipino music. Yeah, I must say, uh, I you, I, you I sing, started to sing in, in Tagalog. You sing and, in, <laughs> and, uh, I do have a hard time in Tagalog. 
Uh, no, because it's melodic. It's it's a melodic uh, language. But the, the so words so are not difficult for you because it's of course, easier. Is of it? course, is it? it's still difficult because uh, I mean, you know, when you have to learn something by heart and then you're not sure what you're saying. <laughs> so mm -hmm. if you miss one word, then suddenly you're lost. Yes. So so it still takes me a bit, but uh, but you understand. I really can feel it. Yeah, I can feel uh, yes. the song when I do it, and I, I think it's a. Uh, it's also one of those romantic language. I yes, mean, there are know. some romantic languages. Yeah, I definitely, think, like yes. Spanish, French, like Italian, all Italian. Yeah. You know, but I feel, Sir Raul, that if you sing a song, like, okay, let's say a love song, you cannot go out there and, and be happy and smiling while you're singing a sad song, no? So, <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, I mean to say, as long as you have the feeling for the song, then the song. do it. Yeah, yeah. If you sing something like Lady Gaga, then that's different, no? Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm sure you, because you have the Spanish, and you have the Swiss, and the German. French, and the German. My goodness, I better go home because <laughs> I only speak besides Spanish and English. Well. But it's such a, such a wonderful, you know, to be able to to do other languages. For me, that I only sing in Spanish, English, and Visaya is already something new yeah. when, when I go abroad, no? But with what you did, like, uh, I, was, I was impressed that uh, mm -hmm. you were in Australia first, so you started yes. your career. Mm -hmm. We always say you're not prophet in your own land, mm -hmm. so I think you're a good example of that. You started uh, more uh, in Australia. Yeah. My That's first albums were made fame. there, yes. yes. And you were there on top of the chart when no other <laughs> female had done in Australia. You no even... other non-Australian yeah, female. Non yeah. And it was an adaptation. It was a Spanish song, uh -huh. Acércate Mas, Come Closer ah, to Me. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it was just an adaptation, but I guess at that time, it it was different. Here's this lady on television. She can sing in Filipino, in Spanish, in Visaya, you know. Mm. So it was something it new special. for them. Yeah. Something new. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm writing on. Just like A you. A who sings. Like, <laughs> just like you. You can sing in all these languages. You know. Yeah. You know what an, an advantage that is, Sarah. Uh, it, uh, it makes my production times three because every album I can make it in three exactly languages. Exactly, <laughs> how so nice. It's a bigger progr you progression. You also write music, yes, I understand. I you compose. Yes. All your albums are composed by you? Yes, majority, yes. Really? Yeah, well. My God, it's so hard. The first to one is the hard one, and then everything flows. You know? Really? Yeah. Because you know, I always try writing songs. My God, you've sung this. Why don't you write songs? Every time I start writing Sir Raul, it comes out and it sounds like my way. <laughs> <laughs> which, which is not a bad song, by the way, you know? <laughs> if you can make it as successful as my way, there is nothing would say then anything nah, against yeah, it, you know? <laughs> no, but it's yeah. really, really, it's, it's, it's a talent. It's a talent to be able to write songs. You know? I think I, each talent is different. You have you yes. have a talent for anything. You have so many talents yourself. So you've done you've done a career of changing one talent from mm -hmm. another to another, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's amazing. And to be able to do your life on it, I think that's a blessing. <laughs> and I think you must feel it's blessed. A great. Oh yes, have. yes, very very blessed. You know that I'm still here. I'm still singing, and everybody asks me, you know, when will you stop singing? Why should I stop? If there are people who want to listen to me and go to, I'll just continue. It Absolutely. makes me happy. Not only that, music is really very soothing. Yeah. I know of many friends who are sick. Yeah, and it keeps oh, you young. Can you call it, me? Uh, can you sing? Can you sing? You know? Yeah. Oh, yes. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Oh, think, definitely. Uh, it's, uh, it's That's why you will never thing. get old, Sarah. Will. Just keep ah, on we'll writing try songs to and singing. Follow your way. <laughs> So we're talking about that. Um, yes. You've done all this career. Mm -hmm. You've done everything imaginable that one can wish to <laughs> accomplish. So what is your plan now? What 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 is next for you? What do you, you still know, want to achieve? Yeah, because everybody asks me that question, you know. Sorry, I'm not original. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. But they do. What else do you want to do? No? Mm -hmm. You have a recording career. You have a hosting career. What more do you want to do? Actually, there's one thing I want to do, and you can help me. Oh. Now I know the it's right done. person, Derek. <laughs> I always thought that I would love to do an album, you know, in Spanish, although I've recorded in Spanish mm -hmm. here and everything. But let's say, for example, in Spanish, 
I was thinking of probably Tagalog songs translated to Spanish or original, much better, you know, so that it can be sold in all the 21 Spanish speaking Country, where countries. Where you already know, so right? it will be very easy. We can do it together. <laughs> Thank <Absolutely>. you, sir. <laughs> I love that, of course. Uh, yeah, of course, we can I mean, do that, you know. Because I've had, I made albums in Tokyo, in, um, but in the Spanish speaking, well, you you know the Spanish one very well, so. Yeah, I love uh, Spanish. Mm, yeah. And, uh, I, it's also so, so much love in Spanish that you yeah. can do. The songs are always so meaningful. Yeah. There are so many ways to say I love you in Spanish, isn't it? It's How true. about in French? It's the same. It's also same, many ways of many saying, ways, how do you say I love you in French? Je t'aime. Ah, je t'aime. Yes. And in German? <laughs> it's not so romantic, ich liebe dich. Ich liebe dich. Yes. Yes. And in Switzerland? Uh, it's the same. The same. Yeah, yeah, ah, because we don't have a Swiss German? language. We have, a, we have those different languages. That's why you have all... Yeah. Uh -huh. We have one called Romance, but I don't speak it. In Bisaya is, Gihigugma ku ikau. Wow. You, can you say that? Ah, oh, you see? You have not heard it. Gihi gugma ko ikaw. This is one ikaw, yeah. It's uh, one, there are other, but it's usually like that. It's usually, gihi gugma ko ikaw. I love you, you see? Gihi gugma ko ikaw. That's it. Nice, no? Nice. <laughs> well, Anita, we're going to yes. be right back. We take okay. a short break. All right. And we'll have more right after okay. this. Okay. Thank you. Very good.